Hello! Again this week, we're reading a story from the Spark Story Bible. This week's lesson is on Doubting Thomas. The disciples were hiding in a house the night Jesus rose from the dead. They were afraid. Bam! They locked all the doors. Jesus came and stood by them. Peace be with you, he said. The disciples looked up in surprise. Jesus showed them his hands and his side so that they would know it was him. The disciples were very happy. Again, Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. Now it's your turn to go tell the rest of the world about me. Jesus breathed on them in a very special way. He said, With this breath, I will always be in your hearts, even when I am in heaven. You now have the power to do the things I've asked you to do. Thomas was the only disciple not there that night. When he got back, the others excitedly told him about Jesus' visit. I don't believe you, Thomas said. I'll believe when I can touch Jesus' wounds. A week later, Thomas and the other disciples were in the same house. Jesus came again and stood with them. Peace be with you, he said to them. Thomas, Jesus commanded, come here. Give me your hands. Put your finger on the wounds in my hand. Put your hand by the wound in my side. Do not doubt any more. It's time for you to believe. Thomas's eyes popped. My Lord, my God, he exclaimed. Jesus answered him, You believe in me because I'm here with you and you've seen me. Think of those who have not seen me, but believe in me anyway. You should believe even when you cannot see it for yourself. Okay, boys and girls, this week's homework is for you to act out the story of a time when you were afraid, but you felt Jesus was with you. So grab your mom and dad, have a good fun time doing that, but at the same time, think about Doubting Thomas, and think about what is it that you believe in, even though you can't see it. Okay, have a good week.